This is Norway's new and controversial border fence with Russia. It's being built next to the Storskog border point, the northernmost road crossing into Europe's Schengen passport-free zone. Last year, around 5,500 asylum seekers, many from Syria, crossed from Russia into Norway here, taking the so-called Arctic route into Europe. The flow of refugees has since come to a halt, but officials say the 200 metre long fence will help to secure the checkpoint in the event of any future mass migration. So I'm on the Norwegian side of the fence here and just over there around 100 metres away is the Russian border. I'm not allowed to film in that direction because of security restrictions. But here's the new fence. It's four metres tall and around three millimetres thick and it costs around 500,000 US dollars. In the nearby town of Shekhanes, the new fence has had a lukewarm reception. Since the fall of the Iron Curtain, authorities here have worked to improve ties with Russia, including visa-free travel for residents on both sides of the border. Leaders of the local municipality say the fence is a backward step. It's really embarrassing for us uh, as the local so near Russia. We, we want to build bridges to Russia, not build fences. But what do Russians make of the fence? These market traders cross into Shekhanes every week to sell Russian goods to Norwegians and tourists. If the Norwegian authorities are building fences, they must need it. And it's right too, because it's not just the Syrian refugees who come here. Norway's capital, Oslo, is nearly 2,000 kilometers away from the border crossing but it was here that the decision to build the fence was approved. According to the State Secretary for the Ministry of Justice, the debate about the fence has become a storm in a teacup. We have a very good working dialogue with the Russian authorities, and you also have to remember that the fence on the Russian side is, uh, is much longer. If I remember correctly, 200 kilometers, which means that uh, this is uh, nothing compared to what we already have. The fence is due for completion by the end of this month, but in the last week, a setback for construction. Border officials say a section of the barrier has been erected 10 centimetres too close to Russia, will have to be dug up and built again. Howard Johnson, BBC News, on the Norway-Russia border.